All right, Mr. G here. Uh, just a real brief primer on intervals as we're going to be using them in our composition. This is not going to be an in-depth uh, lesson on this, but I, I just want you to get a hold of the concept so that when if I mention a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, that you'll understand what I'm talking about. The scale that we're using or the grouping of notes that we're going to be using uh, is basically the D harmonic minor scale, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C sharp, D. And the intervals that we're going to be talking about, when we introduce a second voice, we introduce two elements. There's a vertical element, intervals. What happens when two notes intersect, when two notes occur at the same time? There's a harmonic interval. That's what we have here in this lesson. Uh, there's a melodic interval, which is basically what is the interval between one note and the next note coming after it. That's melodic, think melody. Harmonic, think harmony. Um, we're going to uh, discuss the seven or eight, the eight intervals that, that are going to be occurring in our music, and we're, I'm going to let you listen to them. Notice there's asterisk by the second, the fourth, and the seventh. We'll talk about that here in a second. But let's go over this real quick. Our reference point for our interval is the bottom note. In this case, it's a D across the scale. We see D in each one of these measures. The first measure, both notes are a D. It's a unison. It sounds, right? It sounds the same. Now, the next, we have a D and an E. Well, E is the second note in the D scale, D minor, this D harmonic minor scale. So guess what? It's called a second. That's here. So here's a unison. You hear how that clashes? It's called a dissonance. In, in the beginning, when music was beginning to be written, it was primarily written in the church, they avoided dissonance. They wanted to write music that was harmonious and was pleasant to listen to, that would uh, encourage um, medi a meditative state of mind. So they avoided dissonances. So they avoided the second harmonically. Uh, and then now the, this next measure, D, and an F, that's a third. Why do we call it a third? Well, F, here's D, E, F. F is the third note in this scale group, in this note group. So guess what? It's called the third. The fourth note over a D is a G. That is called a fourth. You finally getting a clue how this works? Next measure is a fifth because A is five is the fifth note in that scale, D harmonic minor scale. Sixth. Well, it's the B flat is a sixth note. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's called a sixth. Seventh, because that's a seventh note above a D. Ooh, hear how that sounds? Dissonance. They avoided that one like the plague. They avoided the second and the seventh like the plague in the early medieval times because those were very, very harsh to the ear. Now, I'm not going to be... Once we get past writing for the second voice, I'm not going to be avoiding the second, the fourth, and the seventh. Because honestly, in today's music, dissonance plays a very favorable part and very desirable part in our music. But when we're writing just two parts, we're going to work very, very hard to make these two parts sound pretty and as dissonance-free as possible. We'll add dissonance when we add other voices. But for these first two voices, little to no dissonance. The last measure is an octave. The D, eight above D. D, E, F, G, A, B, flat, C, sharp, D. It's the eighth note above. So there's our intervals. Again, the second, the fourth, and the seventh for our second voice, which we're going to be doing here in a bit, we're going to avoid those intervals. So basically, we're only going to be using unison, third, fifth, sixth, and octave. Maybe the fourth but we are definitely not going to do the second or the seventh. We're not going to let that happen between our two voices. So, that being said, we are going to uh, segue from here to our next little lesson, which is going to be on motion, uh, the four types of motion, the horizontal element of our music. Again, these are our intervals that we're going to be using and discussing in this next uh, composition in the minor mode. And this is, the whole, this is the vertical component when you add a second voice.
we're going to now move to talking about motion, which is the horizontal component when we add a second voice. All right, Mr. G out. Bye-bye.